In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create procedure in Oracle. Here is the syntax of creating a simple procedure. Create or replace. Here replace part is optional. And then you have to use procedure and a meaningful procedure name. And this part will contain the parameter of this procedure. The parameters of the procedure can be treated in parameter, out parameter, or in or out parameters. Here, in parameters uh, can take input into the procedure, and out parameter is used to pass out data from the procedure. And if any parameter uh, contain both in or out, then the parameter will take input or pass output. And next part is to use else or is keyword and uh, this part is valuable declaration of the procedure that will be internally used in the procedure. Next, the procedure block will start with the begin keyword and there is the executable statement and uh, the executable statement will continue here. And if uh, you want to implement the exception handling part, for the procedure, then you have to add the exception part. And this is the ending block of the procedure. Now I will create the first procedure without any input or output parameter. The procedure name is count std and uh, it has two internal variables. These are DEPT and total. DEPT the type of the DEPT is the type of the department field of std info table and total field will contain uh, the output of the aggregate function count. Here is the uh, statement of the procedure. Select std info department and count std info dot id. That will count the total number of student of particular department and uh, the counted value or the return value will be stored in DAPT and total variable that have been declared before. From std info table where std info department equals to CAC. So this procedure will return in the total number of students of CAC department. Here we have used count as aggregate function and group by clause is used for this. Uh, it will count the total number of students based on the department value that will be CAC. And this GMS output put line uh, is a built-in uh, function of uh, Oracle to print the output in the output window. So that will print first the title of the output, department and total student, and next it will print the value, DEPT value and the total value. Now I will create the uh, procedure by using a SQL developer that I have opened. So I will create the procedure here. If you got this message, that means the procedure is created successfully. So I will commit it and I refresh the window and go to the procedure sections. Then you can see count study procedure has been created. Now, how can you call this procedure? Uh, that is shown in the next part of this tutorial. No data is defined here because the procedure was declared without any parameter. So I will on this line from here the first line or first statement is used to enable the output and uh, activate this function dms output dot put line now i will run it you can see output is uh, csc and total number of students if i check the std info table And data of this table, you can see there are three students in this department. Okay, now I will run the second example. I will create the second procedure search yesterday. 
that contains one parameter. Now the procedure name is search std and one parameter is std. In std basics, uh, that means uh, the data type of the std parameter will be uh, the same as the data type of the ID value of the study basics tables. And uh, after is the three internal variable is declared in B and S. In for taking the name B for batch and S for semester. Now select name batch semester into NBS from study basics where ID will be passed when the procedure is called. And here the output is printed. Now I will create the procedure. Uh, did that this line appears? That's when procedure is created. Here you can see the search underscore study procedure has been created. Now I will call this procedure. Is called here. Down to this row of 50 and 5. And uh, here 4 is passed as the ID value. If I open the table STD basics, and you can see Romana has the ID value 4, and um, her batch is 50, and semester is 5. That that was shown in the now I will go for the third example get procedure with cursor. That means uh, when the procedure returns more than one rows, then you have to use cursor. And uh, the application of cursor has been shown here. That the procedure name is read student list is cursor and cursor name is a study list is select all from a study basic where batch equal to 57. That means uh, the cursor will read the records of those students who are from batch 57 from study underscore basic table. And this is the procedure part and a for loop is used here to iterate the value and uh, std row will contain each record and uh, it will read record from the std list that means the cursor loop will start here and it will print the output the ending block of the loop now i will create the procedure can see the procedure has been created. Now I will call the procedure like before. The procedure has no input or output parameter. So nothing is passed here. I will run it now and it is showing there are two students from batch 57 that is Rabi and Russell. Okay, now I will open the table and check the output is okay or not. You can see there are two students here from batch 57. In this way you can create procedure with parameter without parameter and uh, you can uh, return multiple values uh, from the procedure by using cursor. Thank you for watching.